In this video, I am going to show you how to analyze a measurement tool's repeatability and producibility using JMP software. In short form, people call it gauge GR and R. First of all, what is GR and R? It is a measurement of how repeatable your measurement tool are. Measurement tool does not give the same reading all the time. These are the errors in the tool. There are two errors. First one is the tool measuring mechanism itself. This error is called repeatability. The other one is the measuring process. For example, how you place your apples on the weighing machine may affect the readings. Putting them all at center or spread out may affect the outcome of the reading. This is the reproducibility of the measuring process. Sometime user need to estimate the reading, for example if the weighing machine reading is display in dial position. Different people may read them differently. This is also part of the reproducibility error. To do the analysis, select three person, ten objects, for example weights. The first person will start measure the first object three times and continue to second object, third, till tenth objects. Then, repeat the process by second and third person. Once all data is collected, enter them into JMP table. You should have 90 data points. 10 objects times 3, time measurement, time 3 different people. There are several precautions you need to take note. If your tool is used to measure your objects that ranges from 10 to 100, then make sure your objects in your experiment be in that range. Now let's go to JMP to analyze this. Entered all the data to JMP table. JMP auto assigned data type to your data. You need to change the data type for your sample number. Go to the column header of sample number and right click, then select column info. Change the data type to character. Go to analyze, select quality and process and then measurement system analysis. Make sure MSA method is GR and R. Model type is cross. Okay, now Y response is your measured data. Select actual measurement. Sample ID is your sample number. And X, grouping is by operator. Click OK. There will be some charts displayed. Now go to the small red triangle and select gauge studies, gauge G, R, and R. A small window will pop up. Enter 6 into K Sigma multiplier. If you use this to make decision in manufacturing process, you need to enter another two parameters. The first one is tolerance interval. If your tool is used to measure your part and the spec limit of the part is 10 minimum and 100 maximum, then your tolerance is 100 minus 10, which is 90. The second info your process variation. Look at the historical data and calculate the standard deviation of your process. In this example, I will use 30. Now click OK. Gauge GR and R error is quantified by percent. Firstly, this percent of gauge error over your spec tolerance is 10.8%. The percent of gauge error over your process variation is 5.4%. If you are not in manufacturing and do not have tolerance and historical sigma, then leave them blank. You will get a simplified report like this. Your percent of gauge error is shown here, 5.8%. Ideally, the lower the error the better is your measurement tool. For important processes, it should be less than 10%. That's all, thanks for watching. If you have question, drop them in comment box. If you like the video, please subscribe and share it with other, which might find them useful. Bye.